Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on Red, White, and Bethune, we all got loaded up just in time to put you in the driver's seat. The fridge flew open en route. We left the GoPros running, got some Nashville chicken, and we drove and drove and drove and drove and drove. Let's see what's going on this episode. Hello, how are you today? I have some really good news before we get into the video. The good news is that it's the holiday season. It is the season of giving. And what better way to kick off this amazing season than to do a fundraiser for the Gabby Petito Foundation. That is right, this month, the month of December, we have set a goal of $5,000. Get ready for this awesome fundraiser. We're gonna raise a lot of money to help women and men of domestic violence. Share as much as you can. We're gonna be posting everywhere about the season of giving fundraiser for the Gabby Petito Foundation. That can all be found in the description below. But let's get to the video. Good morning! It's Sunday and we're at the Full Time Families Rally Event Thingy Mabobber Hangout Watchamadoodle, the technical term. So what are we doing now? Walking the Pupperlicious's. Walking the puppies. We gotta let those dogs go by first because ours will lose their ever-loving mind. Yeah. Well, they probably will anyway, but at least try to prepare to keep them from going crazy. Ready to go potties? Uh, go potties? Go potties? Fun. Well, my friends, my face is on for the day and I have to find the components for the awning because Kyle is putting up my awning today. He had to go get a new bit, but I've got to go find the components for it because somebody lost it. Are you the finder in your family? Are you the one that has to find everything that everybody else loses? Please tell me if you are in the comments down below because I am the finder for our family and it's beyond frustrating to have to find everything that everyone loses. Let's get to finding, I'll show you the bay. I'll show you the bay. It's a hot mess, hot mess. Look at this, I had just organized these not that long ago and now it's an absolute cluster. So I have to pull everything out. I'm looking for the pieces of the awning because Kyle took it down. So there's no telling where all of these pieces ended up. So I get to spend part of my day looking for all of this and reorganizing a disaster of a bay. I think I'm just gonna throw everything away. I'm just gonna get rid of all my kids stuff because this is, this is an absolute disaster. Disaster. All right, I took everything out, put it back in, got the other two bays organized. So I tore the bus apart all of the bays to look for the straps, the ratchet straps that we couldn't find and called Kyle. Guess where they were or where he put them? In the back of the Jeep. So I have been tearing bays apart for no reason. At least they're organized and clean. And now I can get back to answering comments cause it's Sunday and I have work to do. I organized somewhat of Kyle's bay too. That's all nice. And these are all the crap that were in there. I'm gonna get back to work though. I'll pick you up in a bit. All right, so I've been talked into putting up the awning again by my love, lovely wife here. Uh, I promised a video, I think, but I'll just kind of go over the pieces with you real quick. This is the actual main cover. We got it on Amazon. I believe it was about 150 bucks. It's 16 by 20, so she's a big old girl. These are the stakes that support the outside area of the awning. They drill down. You can use a drill and go in like that. Trust me, use a drill. You will be wore out if you don't. I fabricated these little, these thick fender washers to hold the ratchet straps to hold the outside down and pull down so it doesn't move. And then of course we got four ratchet straps. These are actually paint poles from Home Depot. I bought the better ones. They're made out of fiberglass. They're really strong. So you can adjust the height. I actually just today bought these turnbuckles for an extra piece of adjustment just to see how, uh, see how they work. All right, let's get to putting it up on here. Here's the awning. 
got it all set up. We strung some lights. Carol and Frank, uh, they sent us these lights not that long ago, and we're actually getting to use them. So I'm super excited. Kyle got the things in the ground. You guys saw from the time lapse, we put it all up. Looks pretty good. What do you think? Let me know down below. <sighs> So we got the awning up, you saw that, and we went to the orientation type thing. Orientation, check-in, that sort of thing. They decorated everything for a birthday party. It was really cool. I want to take you with us as much as we can, respecting other people's privacy at the same time. We're used to this with cameras in our face all we the time. Up for it. We did, but some people didn't. We want to make sure that we're respectful and all of that. And so we'll show you limited amounts of of stuff that everybody's kind of comfortable with. Sounds good. Kyle's having second dinner. I didn't eat much tonight, so I'm, excuse me, really hungry and I have a Ew, bunch of eyes. Golly, that's a nasty burp. <sighs> I have a bunch of eyes looking at me currently. He's like trying to sell it, the sadness. Of, oh, Jafifi. You know, he's so sad. He wants the sausage so bad. Oh, look at Chico, that one. Wheezy. And that one. Kevin's the goodest boy. Oh, nope. here he comes. I spoke too soon on Kevin being the uh, goodest boy. He needs a lot of attention and love right now. Anyway, we're going to give these dogs some... Jeez. <laughs> we're going to give these dogs some love and attention, and then we're going to watch our... Murder show. Good night, guys. Good night. We've been having a pretty good time. I know that we haven't brought you on, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of things, but some of the families, you know, they're not used to having a camera in front of their face every day, 24-7. Who can blame them? I mean, we're, we're special in that sense that we just, it's all good. We're used to it. Anyhow, I think we'll take you around the park. The kids just went off. They're doing a chopped... Thing. If you've watched the show Chopped, they plan this activity for all the kids today that they get to pretend like they're on Chopped and they're split up into teams. They get a secret, secret ingredient. ingredient and two of our kids are on the same team and Molly is on a different team with her girlfriend. So we'll see how it turns out. We're going to walk around here and then meet the kids back over in the common area so we can see what they cooked. Ready to go on a walk? No, yeah, why not? Let's go. It is really windy, so I'm hoping that this mic, this built-in mic, cuts down on the sound. However, the kids are doing their chop marathon, and I thought we would show you around the campground a little bit. It's a really nice one. It's in Bon Aqua, Tennessee. It's called Piney River RV Resort. It's pretty cool. They have 60 sites, I believe, which is awesome. It's kind of off the beaten path, really far. But the nearest like grocery store is probably 30-ish minutes away. Signal is not the greatest. Their park Wi-Fi, awesome. Love it. They've got up here on this hill. They have a bunch of campers that are up here. They also have a row right back over here. Then they have the row that we're on. They've got this row, this row. We'll take a walk down this row because it is how to get to the picnic areas. They have a really cool common area that's down here. It looks like they're getting wrapped up and all the kids are getting finished. But look how cool this little area is. They've got a bunch of picnic tables. It is awesome. They have more campers over here. And I'm gonna take you right down to the river. It is for sure peaceful down here. The river is all behind me. In fact, all the river goes around and they have more sites that go right around there. It has been nice to be back near water again. You can't beat coming out here if you're having a stressful day and walking out here to this. So it looks like the kids are finishing up. So let's go take a peek. Um, we're very, very proud of you, so thank you. For the overall winning team, the winner is Sloppy Baker. So full-time families is so much fun. They organize all of these events all week long for the kids. It is a blast. The kids have such a good time. Now I think I need to go help Kyle get ready for dinner because tonight is bring your own dinner and game night. 
I just got back from the kids victory. Ben's team won, Ben and Eli's team won. Like how cute was that? They were so excited. But I came back to Kyle working on the hot water heater because now the hot water heater is broken. We got here and our panel wasn't working and that's, that's happened before, but we usually it starts working again. So I tinkered with it the last two days. I finally got it fixed. It had a bad connection, power connection. So I got it fixed, it's working, but now, I won't, now the stupid water heater won't turn on. It won't activate. It does it for some reason it's not recognizing that there's water coming through. So it's got to be maybe like a flow sensor or something, I'm assuming. I don't, I don't know. If it's not one thing, it's another? Always. I have like, this is the only time we've ever had a problem other than the control panel not working. So, I don't know. Cool. So what are we making for dinner tonight? Stir fry. Ooh, using the new little Oster thingy. Got the broccoli going. Is that for chicken? Rice noodles. Ooh, rice noodles. It's gonna be good. What else did you get working? I think we got the water heater going. I had a couple loose connections, something going on. I don't, not really sure why. As long as it's working, so that's all that matters. Well, hey you, we are, me and Eli. He's back there, say hi Eli. <laughs> We're out and about this morning. Again, I gotta get some oil for the bus before we leave the area. I pretty much, used, last time I bought it was in Boise, Idaho. I've used a whole case since then. I gotta get some more. We're heading into town, we gotta pick up a couple of things and then we'll be headed back. But I thought I'd show you guys a little treat real quick. Something I found kind of interesting. So that bus right there is one of Johnny Cash's old buses. It's a GM. I don't exactly know which model. I'm sure some of my bus people on here know much more about it than me. I thought it was pretty cool because Johnny Cash had a ranch, uh, like a cabin here in Bon Aqua that he loved. Even up till he died, I think he owned it and you know actively used it. And then back here, they have a little museum. Uh, they call it the Storytellers Museum that has a lot of his artifacts and stuff in it. Yeah, but we were just driving through the other day and I saw this bus and I was like, that's pretty cool. Uh, I thought it was, you know, just one for sale and someone ended up telling me it was one of Johnny Cash's old buses. And I kind of hate to see that it's in the condition that it is. Still pretty neat. I don't know if it's like a 4106, 4104. Not sure. Let me know down in the comments below if you if you know more than I What you got? Got cheese. Got cheese. So it came in my, one of my guilty pleasures. Up. All right, we're gonna run in here and see if they got any good wines for Jen's little paint and sip tonight. Supposedly Aldi has a pretty decent, inexpensive wine selection. So let's check it out. All right, here's our haul. So we did end up getting some Dello 140 weight for the bus. I ended up getting two gallons. That should get me through most of the winter. Got some fuel additive. I haven't done this in a while, and I like to do that every couple months. Aldi, we got us a Outlander Meritage, Meritage wine. I don't know. It's like their high, one of their highest rated wines. So I got that one, and I got this Ziffendale for Jen. That's supposed to be another really good one. Not too bad. Eli got him some chocolates. While he's trying to buckle himself up. Yeah, we're gonna head on back and uh, see what else we can get into today. Tonight is super fun because tonight is mom's night out. Well, mom's night in, kind of. We're doing a paint and sip, which is pretty cool. There, we're doing it here at the campground and then we're gonna have a mom's night out fire. So we're gonna be doing that tonight. Kyle is hosting a movie night for kids again. Like, look at this guy. He's a, he's a different man, y'all. Speaking of that, let's go check out outside because he's working on a project because our fridge broke open and a bunch of crap flew out of it so that's our life how is your project on wow. alberta stahi was last seen in goldendale washington on october 26 2020 she may be in the company of an adult male she may still be in the local area alberta is five foot five inches tall and approximately 105 to 115 pounds. She has brown hair and brown eyes. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Alberta, please contact the National Center for Most Missing and Exploited Children at 1-800-THE-LOST or the Yakima Nation Police Department at 509-865-2933. Let's see if we can help bring Alberta home. <laughs> 